Hey guys, welcome back to Chicken Squad. I'm your host, The Chicken. Make sure you take a second to subscribe to the channel. You want to stay up to date on everything that is Squad Buster. So today, guys, what we're going to be talking about is, is it worth spending money in Squad Buster? So I want to look at this from the angle of, uh, do you get value from buying the little package deals um, or whatever? Or, you know, looking at the full, you know, pay to win, if you want to spend like hundreds and thousands of dollars on this game, is it actually going to get you ahead? Stay tuned, we're gonna talk about all of that and more. And just a, a little self plug, if you are going to spend money in the shop, I appreciate it if you throw on that code chicken, it does help to support the channel. Um, so, when we talk about buying stuff in Squad Busters, it, as we look at the shop here, um, we don't have any daily deals, because I bought them all, <laughs> so I might be a little bit biased. Um, but, here's the thing. I mean, yeah, if you go out and you spend, you know, $5,000 on this game, if that's even possible, um, you're definitely going to have an advantage over the other players, right? Because essentially all this game is right now is if you go and you look at your squad and if you're buying, you know, babies or whatever from the shop, that goes into upgrading them. And then as you upgrade them, you get evolutions. The evolutions turn around and they turn into portal energy which gets you through the, um, the squad journey. Now, the squad journey is interesting because even though you're ranking up on it, it doesn't necessarily mean you're getting matched with uh, higher level um, players. I'm, I would assume that it would play a part, your squad uh, journey level, but I think mostly what happens is that's going to change when you get to the new worlds, especially because that's when you're going to be going against different characters, different troops, that kind of thing. Until you do that, you're kind of going against the same, uh, the same kind of characters for the most part, right? So I believe there is really good value in just buying a little bit of stuff here and there from this game. That's kind of the way I've been doing it. I don't think I've spent more than $100 at this point. I hope not anyways, but... Um, I'm probably around that mark, so I wouldn't say that I've just been, you know, jamming everything like crazy and all my troops are like super overpowered, but it definitely gives me a nice little advantage, um, you know, going into most of these matches. Now, that being said, if we look at it on the other side, I believe that um, <clears throat> this is a game where leveling up your troops is, you know, it, it really kind of is everything. If you can level up your troops faster than everybody else, you're going to have a distinct... Ooh, we're going to go with Greg here. Um, you're going to have a distinct advantage, um, you know, coming into these... Uh, coming into some of these matches. So, at, at the same time, though, um, it's not like where I would say Brawl Stars, for example. I think that's a good example because Brawl Stars is a game where, yeah, you can have higher-level troops, uh, higher-level brawlers... But you can still really do okay, you know, you can get by on just skill. Squad Busters isn't really like that because there's less skill expression involved in the game, I would say. Um, it's more about just run up and then it's just kind of RNG, your troops against their troops. Um, just like a random number generated battle. Um, to see who can come out on top and the higher level your troops, the better your odds are at doing that. Now, that being said, it's still going to come down to, you know, the, the biggest thing in this game is if you can, you know, start your um, your match off properly. So if you can do all the little things right, you know, like don't fight too early, focus on team building, um, all that kind of stuff, then you're going to be in a pretty good spot. Um, did we get the bomb off? Look at this guy. He came just charging for us, and he's like, no, nah, I'm out. All right, so we're not going to focus on him. I gotta go find some monsters to kill. Um, let's see. This guy's almost dead, so I'm almost dead. Holy crap. Uh, okay, let's run back. Let's run back. Seems like every time I turn around, I'm running into another team. Okay. We're gonna go with uh, Shelly here. Let's go take out this bowler, we need some gold. Okay. Take out this poor goblin just bought He's like, what's going on? Eleven. Uh, take a cannon, I guess. We are sitting on the spikes, so we gotta be careful. 
get some trees. Greg can take care of those for us. Our newly evolved Greg. But yeah, I don't know. The way I would recommend spending money on this game, if you guys are going to do that, I would say um, just get little stuff here and there. I mean, you spend a ton of money, sure, you're going to have an advantage, but I don't think you need to do that. I don't think you really you need to do that, really. Um, okay, okay. Oh, nice, we got a Mega. Let's go, dude, let's go. And Megas are the other thing, right? Because if you buy a ton of Megas and you're able to better your chance of getting them, um, then that's going to drastically improve your odds in these matches. Okay, that guy's way too strong for me. I've only got the one Mega Chicken. I got nothing else. I gotta get out of here. <clears throat> Let's go, Barb King. I'm just running around, I'm picking up gems, and I'm just trying to survive here. I can't get out. I can't get out. I'm going to get busted. No, I'm going to get busted. Leave me alone. I'm just a chicken. Get away from me. Don't you do anything, Mr. Goblin. I need more troops. We're still in fifth place somehow. But... With 10 seconds left, we gotta run in here. We gotta get some extra gems. Oh, what perfect timing. Fourth place. Three, two, one. Whew. Okay, so we made it about fifth place. So, um, so yeah, that's basically, that's basically, um, you know, kind of what I wanted to talk about was just if it's worth spending money on this game. And I mean, yeah, there is value in it for sure. But I don't think you need to at the same time. I think that's the takeaway. I think you can do fine. Especially the other thing in this game is, um, you know, just by playing, you can really upgrade your stuff and unlock a lot of things pretty quickly. Like, it's pretty well after every battle, like, you're getting a quest done or you're getting um, something done on the gem pass that's going to help you out. Um, you know, there's a lot of ways to uh, collect loot and collect resources. And, you know, you can party up with friends in, in some of these events. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of different ways. There's a lot of different ways that you can earn loot and resources inside of Squad Busters right now. And, yeah. But if you want to, then it, there is definitely a benefit of upgrading these guys, but I don't think that you need to. So, I hope that helps you guys out. And if you enjoyed the video, uh, make sure to leave a like. And if you have your thoughts, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. We'll catch you in the next one. Check it out. Back, back.